Well, it was kind of nice to be back in the workshop again. Okay. Now, as you can see, I got my square holes drilled out and I got my little pegs cut to length and these these are actually the uh, what we used three or four days ago to go around the outside of the uh, case there as a sort of a window stop or whatever you call it uh, yeah I, I, I knew I was going to be drilling half inch holes so I I cut these these uh, pegs or whatever you call them uh, half inch by half inch and uh, should work out okay now when, when I was when I was plunging through, this is the side that I went down through this way, and uh, got a bit of a tear out on some of them, like this one and this one. I don't know if it's the case if I forgot to adjust the backing to a fresh place or what. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I've, I've got a little uh, plan up my sleeve here. I may, as well, I may as well do it right now. Okay, I've turned this one over and you're looking at it from the top side and when we put our peg in and force it down through and uh, obviously this is going to be saturated with glue all around here and it's going to push the glue out the other side and it's eventually going to come to this area here where there's a lot of a lot of voids now my thinking is and I don't remember ever doing anything quite like this before but I'm thinking that if I was to put some tape, maybe I cut that a little bit too wide. I think I can just trim that down. Okay. All right, now. Make sure it's going to seal all the way around. Okay, now the glue is going to have less of a chance to run to run out on me before it has a chance to dry. I think it'll just be just a tiny bit stronger. Not that it isn't going to be strong anyway. It's, you know, it's, it's it's going to be like super strong anyway. But uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Just just something I want to try here. Like I said, I don't think I've ever done it before, and I'll know if it works or not for next time. No, this isn't going as planned. Good thing this glue is paintable. Maybe a Q-tip was not the best idea. Maybe I should just use my finger. Oh, this isn't going in very square. I was, I was sure I drilled those uh, those holes down straight. Let's, let's see if I can pull this out. It's off just about a degree here. Don't want to pull down too hard, or it's uh, going to break this, break the peg. Well, that's pretty close. But I'd like it to be right on if possible. Okay, now what do we got on the bottom here? Uh, 
Well, let's see if I can do a better job on the next one. Maybe what I'll do is I'll drop the glue right down into the bottom of the hole. Let's see now, which way do I want this up? Yeah, they're all just off just a little bit here. Yeah, it could be my mortiser was, uh, my mortiser was not adjusted straight up and down at 90 degrees. And I didn't notice it was very close though. Yeah, now this one's going the other way. Okay, and that is because I turned this thing end for end when I was doing it, so... Well, at least this one will be dead on. Okay, so did our tape idea help? Well, I believe it did, for the most part, at least on those two, and more or less on those two. But these ones here, I believe this, this top one, that was the first one we did, and uh, I didn't uh, sop the glue down into the bottom on that first one. However, it's still way stronger than necessary. Uh, these these dolls or these uh, square pegs they'll break off long before it would ever pull out of that hole so it was just a thought I wanted to see how it would work and it worked we'll let those dry for a while now and uh, I wouldn't want to accidentally move them out of place they're pretty tight fit though I don't think they would probably 20 minutes is all it's going to take and then I wouldn't be able to pull those out of there even if I wanted to uh, however um, got to figure out the spacing on the uh, on the uh, case, I, I know where I want to put them up and down, but uh, from one side to the other, I don't want them too far apart. Otherwise, they're going to be sort of on the rounded part of the bottom of the hull. Uh, I want the, the the hull I noticed on on both the Bismarck and the Rodney were were pretty flat for for quite a distance. So I'm I'm guessing that if these things are like uh, uh, oh. Maybe all that's necessary is about like that. Anyway, I'm gonna go check the Bismarck and just just see, uh, you know, how where the, where the hull remains flat, how far how far towards the bow and the stern, if you know what I mean. Anyway, they they don't have to be far apart. I mean, it's not like the case is going to be carried while the ships are mounted in it. 
I got curious. Why was it that our holes were not perpendicular into the wood? And I went down to the workshop and checked, and sure enough, it was off just a little bit. Now there's many reasons why it could be off. Could be off because the last time I, I used the machine, for some reason I wanted it a little bit off. Or it could be that uh, when, I, when I reset it back to zero, I didn't set it back perfectly. Or maybe I didn't tighten those bolts in the back there properly. And, uh, it, you know, and moving it around and everything, I might have, you know, knocked it out of kilter. A lot of reasons why it could be out. But it was out. I should have checked before I made the holes. But it looked okay. It was so close that I couldn't, you know, by eyeballing it, it looked all right. Anyway, we're going to measure the hull on the Bismarck tomorrow. Uh, that is, check for the flat part on the hull. And, uh, yeah, we're going to call it quits for today. Thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.